The Albuquerque Rail Trail project is entering a new phase. City leaders unveiled their grand vision for the project today, and they say construction could start later this year. The rail trail was first proposed as a walking path connecting the Albuquerque rail yards to downtown Albuquerque and up towards Lomas. But it's clear city leaders have a lot more planned for the project, including some new city landmarks. Griffin Rushton is here to show us those proposed landmarks, and it looks like there's a big tumbleweed behind you. Yeah, this is what city officials are calling the neon tumbleweed. This is expected to be one of the major landmarks around, along the rail trail and really just downtown Albuquerque in general. Officials revealed the new structure will be built on top of Central Avenue or Route 66 where it dips under the railroad tracks. Mayor Tim Keller says that's one of the crossroads Albuquerque grew from, making it the perfect spot for such an iconic structure. And it's called the Neon Tumbleweed for a reason. Officials say the structure will also be decked out in bright lights. The new rail trail is expected to pass right through the tumbleweed and a new plaza near the Big Eye. These are the renderings of the the new Enchantment Plaza. City officials say this multi-level structure will include space for food trucks, vendors, and other events on the ground, while an elevated path will give people views of the Sandia Mountains way off in the distance. Now, both of these structures are just part of the city's grand vision for the rail trail project. They're planning to build it in phases, but once it's all complete, officials say it will be a seven mile loop connecting some of Albuquerque's most popular attractions actions in historic neighborhoods, but that's easier said than done. This is probably the largest public works undertaking since we literally built the zoo and the track. Albuquerque Mayor Tim Keller knows the planned rail trail project may seem too good to be true, but after nearly $40 million in investments from the city, state, and feds, he says the city is almost ready to break ground. The project is roughly half funded, and so that means we can start. World-renowned architect Antoine Pradoc unveiled his designs for the project Saturday, including new plazas, landmarks, and an overall layout. We've kind of identified 11 different auras or kind of historical areas along the trail, areas that have a history that we can talk about. Each of those areas will include certain attractions like the Neon Tumbleweed or Enchantment Plaza, but most of those will come later. We're excited to start hopefully with the Central Crossing, which will be an at-grade crossing with ramps at Central to eliminate the dangerous underpass that we have for pedestrians. Officials with the Metropolitan Redevelopment Agency believe construction on that crossing will Will begin this fall in some parts of the trail soon after. Potentially sawmill or that length from rail yards all the way up to Lomas. Those are probably our first sections. City leaders predict the finished trail will be a major tourist attraction, but they also believe it will bring new life to downtown Albuquerque. What we've learned from a lot of other cities is when they're able to rehab their downtowns with a major tourism or amenity or attraction, it really helps drive downtown improvements. And Mayor Keller believes that impact will spread even beyond Albuquerque. When we pull this off, almost every New Mexican will know about the rail trail and will have experience with it. City leaders say the renderings we showed you tonight are their plans moving forward. There's still a few parts of the trail that are in the planning stage, but officials predict that the full trail could be completed by 2027. Back to you.